Nathaniel Bennett, and this is a quick three-minute summary of my Max patch. Um, this is it in presentation mode. It's designed to look like an old television. If we turn it on, images display here. They've got a layer of static over them. There's a speed cycle here where you can manually select how quickly you want the images to cycle. The volume control here. And then there's a manual select here where you can select the various images whilst also stopping the cycling process. And then you can restart the cycling process by clicking the big red button here. So there's a wee animation as it turns off. Um, the inner workings include an on switch up here. This is the cycling technique that was taught to us in the lectures um, in regards for the photos. Uh, then this is a manual select. This all sends messages to the Metro and the override. Um, oh sorry, to the select which override the Metro. Um, down here we've got the audio. For the background, it's mostly subtractive synths and additive synths with a few ring modulated things in there, um, keeping the background pretty simple. And, uh, and then for the foreground, we got to play around a little bit more. Um, I've got a vocoder, I've got Carpal Strong. Um, this is a step sequencer which controls an additive synth. And then this is a granulated synthesizer. And um, there's no foreground for picture four and picture um, six. That's simply because I didn't think that they needed them. Picture four is quite full already. And quite picture six, I just like the way it sounds. It's got an emptiness to it, but it works quite well. Um, then up here in the corner we've got all the graphics which um, are just in FPEX and loaded with back messages. Um, so that's everything. That's picture um, 4 there. No foreground. Picture 6. No foreground. Um, anyways, that's my max patch.